Here's Buyamere! Beautifully done! Can't see now! Yeah, he's Vuyo pulling one back. Leading by example. Best time shot, far post. Oh, that, is, that is absolutely pure vision. All the, those are all the goals Buyo Mere has ever scored. <laughs> You've just seen them. Thank you, good night. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Buyo, you're not known for that, but you have found the back of the net in your time. Two league titles, you've won every trophy in South African football. Welcome to the show. Now, with Bidvest Vits, how does it feel? Uh, still can't believe it all. Uh, but, um, you know, at my age, and you just been signed by Vets, uh. still have to pinch myself <laughs> to, to believe that. But then, that's how God works his things, you know. You believe a whole some people, you can't compare yourself to others because when God blesses you, he blesses you at his own time. Age 34, I don't know if you even remember this, but do you know that it's this month is your 17-year anniversary as a professional footballer? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I checked. Mm. Your first game was 2001, August, against Black Leopards. Yeah, Cape Town State. We're in August in 2018, right? Yeah. 17-year anniversary. Wow. You've been doing it, eh? Yeah. Uh, What's happened to the years? I mean, it's funny, Hori. You don't even take a look at that when you're concentrating on your career. You know, I've I've let that maybe what somebody it's uncle officing deal with that. Mm. You know, mine is to deal with what's happening in the field of play. So yes, God has been good to me. You know, my mom got the jeans taken a little. You know? mm. So yeah, uh, I have to thank the Almighty God for giving me the heart of liking to do what I what I do best. Last season must have been difficult. Platinum Stars relegated, you're the captain of the team. What went so badly wrong? I mean, it was unbelievable when we played our last game against Vets, you know, and <coughs> having to know that we're going to the playoff, you know, we, that uh, we've been relegated. And coming to think of it, uh, I think four or five years back, we won two trophies mm. as Platinum Stars. And uh, I took a look at the team that won the trophies and took a look at the team that got relegated. I think it was only me, Robert Ngambi, and Sibus from Somu were there. Mm. So it was it was heartbreaking, mm. it was heartbreaking. Like I couldn't believe, I didn't see myself there. Mm. You know, when you, things are going your way, you start planning your life, you're not knowing God now, he's got other plans for you. You know, I saw myself retiring, co platinum stars and mm. all that, you know, trying to build maybe be in the structure to go of development at Platinum mm. Stars. But then when that happened, you know, it just broke my heart. And then the team goes down. You look at your VIT certificate, you say, I'm 34. Did you, how does it happen that Bidvest VITs come knocking? Yeah, like it's funny, Rob, like how God works his ways, like I said, you know. Uh, I never thought uh, I would be still be playing professional football this, this season. Mm. But then, yeah, uh, I kept on uh, knocking on doors until coach uh, gave an answer and said, you know, come and join us, you know, come train with us. Let's go to camp and see how it goes. You mm. know, we just want to see your fitness levels or if you will fit here. And yeah, the rest is history now. I'm now a bit best best player. I mean, we know you, I was watching last season, you were one of very few players who really was dying for that team. It seemed like the team gave up long before the last game. And maybe that's an example, right? It, not giving up meant that Gavin saw what you were doing last season with Platinum Stars. Yeah, that's what I always tell the younger ones, you know, when they are playing, you know, you must play as if like it's your last game. You'll never know who's watching. Mm. So I think that truly really helped me, you know, because uh, I do what I do because I love what I'm doing. So, yeah, I gave it my all because I know they took care of me, the Royal Bafugan people, mm. uh, Platinum Stars as a whole, you know, they took care of me. And do you think that you gave so much last season and you still have so much that you want to give to Bid Best Bits because of what happened earlier in your career where you went without? where you even they had to auction things. I mean, does that still play in your mind? Tell us about that time. Yeah, it does, uh, Bartomi, because at that time, uh, I never thought it would happen to me mm. until uh, it happened. What and happened? Uh, I started losing things. Uh, Sundowns released me, mm. if you can remember. I was firstly loaned to uh, Moroga Swallows. Mm. And then we survived the Swallows. We, I helped the team survive. And after performing so well for Morocco Solis, I'm thinking I'm going back to my Melody Sunday. Uh. And then I go back, and then they tell me that they are not renewing my contract. But then after a while, and then Coach uh, Gordon Egerson by that time was the head coach mm. of Swallows. And then he told me that, you know, 
we have already found a replacement for you at Swallow mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it took so long. And then I had to go home more because I, there was no team that was interested at that time because uh, I was maybe regarded as that naughty boy or maybe uh, one of the expensive players. So how were you living? I had to get help from my parents. Uh, I was in areas for about maybe not paying my house and cars for three months or something. Uh -huh. You know, and he, he th he, Robbie uh, brought to me, I mean, uh, I had to stay in the house. I had to close myself in. I actually thought of committing suicide. Wow. Uh, luckily, I had a supporting family. Uh, and, you know, they were there for me, you know, tied to help. They moved in with me in Joburg uh. Uh, because uh, once I told them, I once sent them a message saying, Daddy, this is it for me. Uh, I'm deciding to take my own life because wow. I couldn't take it because nobody was there. Nobody. It was only my parents. Is that what drives you now? Is yes. That what, uh, is that what that, that memory of what life without football is like? Uh, now I know the valuable, valuable things in my life. Uh, every cent that I have, I try to make the most of it. Mm because it can be gone by the wink of an eye. Mm. So uh, I have more responsibility now. I've got two boys to take care of, you know. I can't let them, because if I suffer, they're gonna suffer more. So you, you have won two league titles. You are now part of this Bid Best Fits team. You're one of 11 new players. Your experience is immense. Does this team, this Fits team that you're with, does it have what it takes to go all the way this season? With your experience looking back at teams you've played in, relegated teams, winning teams. We've got one of the most uh, exciting, hard-working team this season. Even the coach said that, you know, even when they won the league, uh, he never had this, this talented team. Mm. So if we believe in ourselves, and I believe, because uh, we know Bedford Vest always attracts quality players mm. in the league. This season, they, we've got the best team and the most talented players. So I believe we can go all the way, but then it's not going to be easy. We can't just walk into the field and thinking that we've got the best players. We're going to have to work and do it as a team. But six points, it's two wins. It's still early, but for me, yes, we're doing well, yes. But then we just want to go with uh, we go by with our job quietly, you know. I know now we're going to be getting a lot of attention. That's not what we wanted, but then we have to do our you job. You can't be quiet when I see you at the top of the log. <laughs> the quiet. Top of the log after two games, we're really about quiet. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> and congratulations. We are, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy in football, a man who's been a professional for so, so long, celebrating that 17 years, as I said, and we wish you all the best at Bid Best Fits. You know, you're looking great. So how many more years are left in the tank? As long as I can go, as long as God spares my life, I can keep on going. Until somebody tells me that, no, you're going to stop, and that's God. Well, it's like a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Vuyo mm. Mere. Oh, what a story. And also, we're glad that suicide didn't happen in your yeah, life. You've God contributed. You've played for the nation. You've given your best. And it's a good thing that you are now. Back and doing what it is that he loves the most. Playing his football with the best fit. <laughs>